and I do. And we're delighted that we can state that uh, economic relations between Lithuania and India are growing stronger. We have focused on these issues during our discussion today. We also discussed things that we could make better and the things we can do more in the future in many fields. We see a great potential to further develop these relations to make them closer. And uh, we should note that today the uh, trade turnover between our two countries is not very impressive and perhaps there should be more sectors that should uh, work together, collaborate and have mutual benefit. India's ben uh, investment in Lithuania is already here. Uh, unfortunately, this cannot be said about Lithuanian investment in India. But having in mind that uh, we have uh, a liberal regulation of the fintech sector in Lithuania has achieved a lot in life sciences, biotechnologies. So we invited India's companies to invest more in these sectors and uh, uh, to operate here in this region. We also discussed We also discussed the opening of the Indian Embassy here in Vilnius, and this discussion has been going on since 2005. No final decision has been yet made as yet. We must have patience. Uh, it does not depend on us, but I would like to remind you that uh, Lithuania opened its embassy in India in 2008 and Estonia in 2012. We also discussed uh, uh, the establishment of uh, an Indian cultural center here in Lithuania, it would be a very welcome step, a step to concentrate the efforts uh, that uh, individual uh, for, uh, companies are making. It could be a joint effort. So we also stated that our cultures are rather close, our philosophies are close, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy is uh, very attractive here in Lithuania. And of course, we have a relationship in our languages. And I had the opportunity uh, to present uh, the president with a, a Lithuanian Sanskrit dictionary. Uh, there are uh, 100 words that have uh, common roots, and it means that we have a common prohistory. So we had a very fruitful discussion. I believe we will uh, continue it in the evening, and I know that the Indian delegation will be here in Lithuania until Monday, so I believe they will be able to uh, see our beautiful landscape and to get the best impression of Lithuania. Thank you, Excellency, and friends, I am delighted to be in this beautiful country on the first leg of my visit to the Baltic countries. I would like to thank uh, President uh, Gitana Sinoseda and the people of Lithuania for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to me and my delegation members. Our relations is based on mutual trust, mutual understanding, and support to each other on issues of core interest. Lithuania and India has civilizational links that go back to centuries. Lithuania is the oldest Indo-European language and it has strong links with the Sanskrit. I bring warm greetings and felicitations from the President and people of India for President Gitana uh, Snoseda on his election as the President of Lithuania. I am confident that under his leadership our relations will grow and intensify in the coming years. I had extensive discussion with the President this evening on all important aspects of our bilateral relationship as well as global and regional issues of common interest. We expressed our commitment to further build on strong, long-standing friendly ties between both of our countries. India and Lithuania are on the path of economic reforms to realize the goal of socio-economic development of our people. We, we agreed to enhance cooperation in areas such as agriculture, food processing, information technology, financial services, 
and also financial technology, among others. India is one of the fastest growing economy in the world, presents opportunities for win-win partnership between Lithuania and India entrepreneurs in multiple sectors. We congratulate Lithuania on its many achievements since regaining its independence almost 30 years back. It's regaining independence. In our discussions today, we also exchanged views on multilateral issues and to build on our existing cooperation at the United Nations and other multilateral fora. We agreed that the United Nations need to be reformed to reflect the realities of today and address current global challenges. Terrorism is one of the major challenges confronting the world today. All the nations must intensify their collective efforts and they strive to eliminate the menace of terrorism and also isolate nations which aid and abet terrorism. We conveyed our satisfaction at the growing cultural and academic linkways between our countries. India has extended e-visa facility to Lithuanian nationals for ease of mobility. I will be meeting Prime Minister Sori Visquerdes, uh, the Speaker of uh, SEMAS, Victorus Pranarkaitis. I will also address the Indo-Lithuanian Business Forum and have the opportunity to meet the business efforts of both the countries. I am thankful to the Honorable President and his team and also to the people of Lithuania for their triumph and affection during our stay. I am confident that my visit to Lithuania will enhance cooperation and deeper understanding between India and Lithuania. Friends, uh, we are all very much impressed by the beauty of this country and beauty along with the beauty, the way they are progressing is really very impressive. I am, I am thankful for the government and also the other members of the team along with the president who are all there in our discussions. As I told you, we have exchanged our ideas on various bilateral issues. We will be working together and we will try to come closer in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency.